There are five apps for Mac OS you'd love to try to improve your day-to-day -day routine. Rectangle, Clippy, Omni Disk Sweeper, Memory Deck and Cloud App. Keep watching to know how I use these apps and saves tons of seconds a day. Hey folks and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Valentin and I'm quality assurance engineer from Berlin. I spend 8 plus hours every single day with my laptop. That's why for me it's really important to improve my interactions with computer. Let's start with Rectangle. Rectangle it is a Windows management app which helps you to move the windows around your screen with hotkeys and don't touch your trackpad or mouse. It's, uh, this app is really simple. To install you just have to go to rectangleapp.com and download the app. You will find huge button download here. And right after you download it, you can use Option Command Left to move your window left, Command Option Command Right to move your window right. Also, you can use Double Left to move on two parts of your of your window, and the same for the left one. Of course, move down, move up, and if you like to, you can stick your window half of the window or maybe a quarter. And now you can quick and easy move your windows in milliseconds. This is so sweet. Next one is Clippy. Clippy is a powerful tool that makes your clipboard macros 10 times more powerful if there is any way to measure that sort of things. Every time you copy something, Clippy remember and share quick access to pieces of information. Clippy groups pieces into chunks of 10 by default. If you would like to paste something from your history, you just add a single key to your regular command V command, command shift V, and extra context menu pops up to let you find and choose something from your history. If you like to paste something from the last uh, clipboard, you just use your regular command V and you are good to go. Of course, you can adjust the app with special preferences. Let's try it out. For example, command shift V and I have 100, my last 100 copies. And you can choose anything you want, especially you can choose also um, files and pictures from your command. It is really important if you like to copy and paste a lot of different information and like to keep uh, access to it. With preferences, you can choose how many, what the max What's the maximum of clipboard history size? I set 100 items by default. Also, you can adjust menu, types, what you like to exclude. Uh, you can adjust your shortcuts and, of course, updates. Next one is OmniDisk Sweeper and I actually love it because it helps me to save tons of gigabytes on my hard drive. When I start this app, I have a list of drives and as soon as I double click on it, I will have a list of folders and files sorted by the size. And for me right now, it's really easy to find and locate the hugest file and delete it if I don't need it. So it is really important to save your memory when you record videos, for example, or operate with huge files. So I highly recommend to use this app because it's first it's free and really easy to use. Next one is Memory Diac. Helps me to keep an eye on my my system's memory. It is quick access to detailed memory information and diagnosis with a simple click on my menu bar. I use it every time I start to render a video because I need to clean up my memory and allow, um, and allow my program to use the full memory. Uh, after you install it, you have a simple menu uh, and helps you to clean up your memory really fast. And of course, this app shows you which program you use memory most. Easy to click one button and clean up your system's memory. I use it every time uh, I start to render a new YouTube video because it is obviously takes a lot of memory. 
The last but not least is a cloud app. Cloud app brings screen recording, screenshots and GIF creations to the cloud automatically. You can capture exactly what you are seeing on your screen by recording a video. You can scroll around the page, click move from tab to tab and easily even to add a webcam to personalize and narrate your screen recording. All saved uh, as an easy to share link automatically copied to your clipboard. Using asynchronous video screen recording with Cloud App can be perfect complement to real-time Zoom calls and so way to connect with digital remote workspace. You have to create a new uh, account and let me... You can easily create a new screenshots or, or recording and I have a link automatically to copy and paste it and here we are. This is my screenshot with a link. And this link you can share with your family, friends, or maybe company. Of course, you can make the same with um, uh, video. So I can start to record my page through the uh, cloud app. I can finish and I got a link automatically, which I can share with my colleague and show my work progress or something else. With a free account, you can use one minute video, but if you have a paid plan, you can extend your video creation to, to the next level. Of course, this app shows when you click on something or interact with a computer. I enjoy to use this app to show and explain bugs and errors I found on a website because it shows clicks and also it uploads um, your screenshots and video to cloud automatically. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy my favorite apps. Please don't hesitate to leave your favorite apps in comment section below. Of course, like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Ciao.